Hi, Maya. There's been a lot of talk you're having a, a really good camp. Um, how do you feel like uh, you're performing so far during camp? Uh, I feel like I've then increased my speed a little bit, and I got better at a lot of stuff, just making sure our team get better. We see you guys rotating a lot at, at running back. Seems like it's going to be like running back by committee maybe to start the season off. Just what are your thoughts on you and your fellow running backs? Uh, I think we all got a chance to start, and got a great room for the great guys. You got a chip on your shoulder a little bit, being a guy that was underrated coming out of high school, Wenton Woods. Do you got a little chip on your shoulder or a big chip on your shoulder maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, speak more about that. Why is that? Uh, because coming in, I felt like I was over, like overlooked a lot. I just felt like I had a point to prove, and I got to prove it. How do you do that? How do you go about proving the point? Just continue to work hard every day, getting me and my teammates better. Uh, like learning the offense a little more, everything like slowing down to me. Cause when I first got here, it was a little fast. Like in preseason camp, you're the guy who's first in line on those reps. I know you say everybody can start and everybody's gonna play, but is that any kind of confidence boost for you to be out in front of those lines? Um, I want to say a confidence boost. Just running through the drills, getting better. How good does it feel though to know that you're a guy who's at the front of the line who's getting first team reps and has a chance to play a major role this year? Um, I mean, it's it's cool, but um, I don't really try to worry about that too much. I just try to focus on getting better and getting my teammates better. Do you feel like, you know, you're, you're proving something though? Like, hey, I, I came in here just a year ago and I'm already a guy who's in the mix to play a lot this year. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, but no, because I mean, it's, just, it's about all the uh, work you put in, the hard work you put in. How, how do you feel like, you know, your game can help this offense this year? What are maybe the things that you do that you think are unique in that running back room? Uh, I mean, we haven't really done a lot yet, so I can't really, like, show, show nothing yet because we haven't played a game or not like that. What do you think people will see when they see you play this ball? A lot of, a lot of more speed and wiggle than last year. I know it was one play, but how big for you was the play against Clemson? Where you, um, you know I was. I mean, it just it just felt like like practice to be honest. But it was a big play because like it was late in the playoffs, and a freshman coming in and making a big play in a big game. So it was kind of cool to experience. Did you already have confidence in yourself? Uh, I would just just got to stay ready. So you got to get ready with your number call. You got to be ready to make a play. How do you feel like you and Master and all the other running backs in the room push each other, make each other better? Um, like if, like say one of us mess up, we kind of coach. We coach each other on it to like boost everybody confidence on that. Try to make sure everybody stay in high spirits. How have you seen uh, the young guys Travion and Evan come along this offseason? They coming along good, real good. Are there anything you've tried to do in particular to try to help those guys? I mean, I just try to tell them to like, like stay focused. And, you know, pay attention when you're not in. Take mental reps and all that. Why, is there any sense that those young guys, you know, Trey and Evan, have kind of pushed you and Marcus and Master a little bit this off season and into the summer? Uh, yeah, yeah. About, just by the way that they like carry themselves, Is like being young. Has it surprised you for, to see young guys come in that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Fine. During the recruitment, you talked about having a chip on your shoulder. I'm, I'm sure you carried that through last year. Do you kind of still have, you still carry that, or you kind of passed all of that and just ready to Nah, I, I still carry it, so, definitely. Mine, do you like this sort of meatball identity? Uh, to be honest, I don't. You don't? <laughs> Why not? I don't, I don't like the name. I'd rather be called Chop. What? Why Chop? Because uh, actually, um, Baron Brown, he had gave me the nickname last year. and started calling me Pork Chop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just kind of stuck with it. Ryan, you got a couple of weeks left here before the season starts. Obviously, you're, you, know, you guys have accomplished a lot through camp so far. But give us an idea of what you feel you personally and, and the offense need to try to do over the next couple of weeks. That you're at full go, ready to go on, on September 7th? Uh, we just got like, 
just got to get better at some things. You got to get ready. Anything in particular? Uh, just like little stuff, just little stuff. How are you in pass pro? I know that's obviously very important for running backs here to be good at pass pro. How are, I would imagine you're pretty good at it. How are you in pass pro? I feel like we got like, as a unit, we got way better than last year at pass pro, pass pro, because we work on it a lot in practice every day. How about you personally, pass pro? Is that, a, is that a strength of yours? Yeah, I, I would say yeah. How are your hands? Good. <laughs> you have the best hands in the group? Everybody can catch. Ryan, everybody has talked about, at least from our, your coaching staff standpoint, has talked about your development for the last few months of the summer. Can you go through a little bit of the commitment you made um, to try to make that a, a part of what you wanted to see in your future in football? What, what did you do? How different a player are you from what you were here? Uh, actually, I just like, I tell myself, like, just got to find a way to keep going no matter how you're feeling. So, like, got to just put your all into it. Then you got to embrace the brotherhood, too, that's here, the culture. It really helped me out, too. From a physical standpoint, how different an athlete are you? Can you kind of go over where you evolved as an athlete? Well, I just, like, watch watch practice film on myself from last year and then fix my mistakes on that. Are you – what about your, your athletic performance, your weight, your, your strength, uh, um, those kind of things? How have you evolved there? I'm um, just changing my diet, really. That helped me a lot, changing my diet, eating the right stuff, and just working out a lot, too. What, what, what's the difference in you? Is there a difference weight-wise from last year to now? Yeah, I'm uh, actually 10 pounds lighter. OK. And then from a speed standpoint, like you ran 40 last year, you ran it this year, any? Yeah, I, like in the offseason, I stressed a lot. When I was training back at home, I did a lot of stretching and stuff. Got my speed, speed up a little bit. What is your weight? 223. What has that done for you? Do you feel like you've got a 10 pound weight off your back? You feel lighter? Yeah, you feel actually, I feel, yeah, I feel lighter. Feel lighter? I feel better than last better? year. I mean, you explain what, that, what that's like running around 10 pounds lighter. Uh, I just feel like you feel like loose, more loose. Does it make, I mean, practice is not easy, but do you feel that physically now and as you finish a practice, maybe what you did a year ago, do you physically feel different? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely feel different than last year. Last year it was tough. Freshman year, everything's just going back quick. There's yeah. a lot of when we when we've been here to, to watch practice anyway. You've had first team reps. Masters had first team reps. We've seen you both a little bit. How much do you really think you're gonna play? Like how much have you committed yourself to being that kind of any a, a frequent contributor? Um, I just just tell myself to just keep working. Just come in here and put in the work every day, like everybody else do. When you go out there first practice, and, uh, you're first in line, we're all reading stuff into that. What, uh, did it matter to you that you were first in line? Uh, not, not really. Really? Nah. <laughs> they, they call your name first, that doesn't matter? I mean, it, it do, but it don't. Cause it's just like, it's the first day of camp or first day of practice. So it's just drills and stuff. So when you, when you said you've altered your diet, what, what are you not eating? What are you eating? Um, I had stopped. I stopped eating red meat, so I don't eat no red meat. I only eat chicken. Kate Stover doesn't like you anymore. Uh, nah, <laughs> that's my guy right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, what else have you changed? I mean, uh, more vegetables. I mean, what, 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 what's is it? Just chick, red meat and chicken? That's the only thing. Yeah, I just cut out all red meat. That's it. Is this Justin Fields' diet? Oh uh, nah. <laughs> I think I think he's actually vegan. Yeah. 